Greetings to all. Today's topic is pressure exerted by liquids. A wooden block kept on a table exerts a force on it and we know that the wooden block is a solid substance. What about liquids? Right. Liquids also exert pressure. There are certain characteristics of pressure exerted by a liquid. First, liquids exert pressure on the base of the container. Second, liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container. Third, liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth. And the last, the pressure exerted by a liquid increases with depth. Now let us understand each characteristics one by one. First, liquids exert pressure on the base of the container. All the liquids have weight. So, when we pour a liquid into a vessel, then the weight of liquid pushes down on the base of the vessel producing a pressure. Let us understand this with the help of an activity. Take a wide glass tube open at both ends. Tie a rubber balloon to one of its end. Now hold the tube in vertical position and pour some water into it. You will notice that the balloon bulges downwards. Now pour some more water into the tube so that the height of water column in the tube increases. You will see that the size of the bulge increases. This activity shows that first the liquids exert pressure on the base of the container in which they are poured and second pressure exerted by a liquid at the bottom of the container depends on the height of the column. More is the height, more will be the pressure and vice versa. Second characteristic, liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container. Let us understand this with the help of an activity. Take a bottle with a tap like opening at its side. Tie a balloon to the opening and fill the bottle with water. What do you observe? You will notice that the balloon bulges outwards. Now pour more water into the bottle so that the height of water column increases. Now again the size of the bulge increases. This shows that first liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container. The sideways pressure exerted by a liquid on the walls of the container is called lateral pressure. Second, the pressure exerted by a liquid on the walls of its container increases with increasing depth. This means lateral pressure increases with depth. Third characteristic, liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth. Let us understand this with the help of an activity. Take an empty plastic bottle. Drill some holes all around the bottle at the same distance from the bottom. Now fill the bottle with water. What do you observe? You can see that water coming out from all the holes falls at the same distance from the bottle. This shows that liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth. Fourth characteristic, the pressure exerted by a liquid increases with depth. Let us understand this with an help of an activity. Take an empty plastic bottle, make some holes along its side at different heights from the base. Now pour more water into the bottle. What do you observe? We can see jet coming out from the top hole falls very close to the bottle whereas jet coming out from the bottom hole falls far away from the bottle. This shows that liquid pressure increases with the increasing depth. 